Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to share uh, my opinion about the upcoming debate between First Amendment Protection Agency and uh, Frauditor Troll. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy, well, me trying to analyze this silly little situation that First Amendment Protection Agency might have found himself in. So the time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Frauditor Troll saw my video and he responded. He responded with an email inviting me onto his show. He wants to go live for a conversation or a debate or a, whatever he wants to call it, an interview, whatever he wants to call it. And uh, he emailed me saying that he'd love to have the opportunity to have the fastest growing auditing channel on YouTube today to be on his show. Now, now I have my doubts about whether or not Josh said that you were the fastest growing uh, auditor channel out there. I mean, you've been known to lie quite a bit to try to boost your own ego, and I will show that here in a little bit. Uh, well, just one of your examples of uh, the lies that you tend to tell. So, so uh, like usual, I'm going to say citation needed, please, because, well, uh, you've got to have some credibility here, and, uh, well, it hasn't been a very good run as far as your actual credibility goes. So let's continue on, shall we? And, which I completely understand. And soon what he's going to quickly realize is that as soon as I get on the show, it's no longer going to be his show. It's going to be my show. It's going to turn into my show, and I'll explain that when the time comes. <laughs> you got an ego on you, son. You certainly do. But it's all just fluster right now because all you're doing right now is baiting all your followers to come in and see you. Just to boost your own ego at this point because, well, I'll tell you something, boy, because... Well, I don't think you're going to be able to win this anyway because you uh, don't do research very well. And, uh, well, I, like I said, I'm going to prove it here in a minute. So let's continue on, shall we? And when I responded to his email and I told him that I'd be on the first plane to wherever he was at, flying first class down to his dojo, he didn't quite understand what I meant by that. He thought I meant that in a threatening manner, and he responded within two minutes instantly and said, "Oh no, I, I, I'm past my fighting days. I can't. I can't do that. I, my my computer basically shook off my desk with how nervous he was when he was writing that email. He said, "I'm past my fighting days. I don't want to go around fighting twenty year olds. I got a family. I can't. I can't do that." So I used his worries and told him that we didn't have any actual beef. I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pick on an unarmed opponent like that. I'm gonna do nothing different, nothing short of what I always do. I'm gonna walk into the face of adversity and call out the tyranny as I see it. You give me zero credibility, given the fact that I've only been in the auditing space for about three months now, saying that I look like a young dumb kid, and you're gonna come to find out that you're absolutely wrong. You couldn't be further from the truth. Oh, but you are a young dumb kid. You're only 20 years old, and, uh, well, you think you're hot shit because, well, you made a claim that, uh, you got a sheriff to resign because of what happened on one of your audits where he arrested you multiple times in one day. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not the case. In fact, let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? And again, we we'll go for the circular conversation. No, no, thank you. Okay, that's fine. Hey, let's do it again. Let's do, do it again, lawsuit. boys. Get a lawsuit. Let's do it again, boys. Other hand, please. Other hand, please. For what? Okay. Here we go, guys. Hey, get two hundred. I got one detained. Got the smile. Let's try again. Before we close out this video, there are two issues that I would like to address with this idiot right here. The first issue is with his title and what he put up in this card right here, saying that after he had filmed this particular video, the uh, police chief, Middleton, 
resigned, which I think he's trying to imply that he was the one that forced him to resign. Well, no. Uh, if you look up the story, which I will leave linked in the description box below, uh, Chief Middleton here was involved in several dis domestic disturbances, and, uh, well, it ended up leading to him resigning. It had nothing to do with this moron right here. And that is your biggest claim to fame right there, which is... Uh, built on a house of lies because several news agencies reported on this particular story and they were all in consensus that it was due to uh, him being a well, alleged domestic abuser, and uh, well, the uh, whole situation was embarrassing enough for him that well, he had to resign. So, that one victory that you claimed was simply one giant lie to begin with. So, Frauder Troll, if you want to use that clip right there to show how much of an idiot this guy is, be my guest. I'll even uh, email you later on and uh, provide you with the uh, citations. I mean, this guy, like I said, total idiot. Now let's get into a little bit of an analysis on Fraud or Troll. Now as a content creator and somebody who has a, jo a full-time job outside of YouTube and generally works 10 hours a day uh, on that job, uh, I barely have time to watch a lot of videos myself. Uh, but I do try to catch the occasional Fraud or Troll debate video. And he does debates fairly frequently. And uh, from what I've seen, well, he he wins some, he loses some, but he hangs in there. And for the most part, stays on topic and uh, tends to ask the right questions of his opponents. And, uh, well, there's been times I've seen his opponents rage quit because, well, they're faced with uh, uh, answering questions that might end up making them look like complete idiots. Now, there are several outcomes that have a possibility of happening on that day of the debate, which is on the 7th of January, 2024. There is a high likelihood that one of them will not show up on the 7th. In fact, I'm willing to bet that it would be a First Amendment Protection Agency because I don't think he has very much experience with debating and uh, may just, uh, well, not show up because of his lack of experience. The next possibility is this, that he will show up, but it will be a quick... Rage quit probably within five minutes because Fraud or Troll will be asking a lot of tough questions of this uh, total ignoramus. So that is a huge factor right there. All the questions that Fraud or Troll has because he does have experience with debates. Now, here's a third possibility right here. If First Amendment Protection Agency has the balls to stay and debate him without rage quitting or anything like that, and, uh, well, tries to get by on his lack of experience and everything like that, uh, more power to, to him, but it's still going to be uh, akin to Goldberg versus Gilberg. And allow me to explain this to any uh, non-wrestling fans out there. You see, back in the late 90s, there was a professional wrestler by the name of Bill Goldberg who uh, tore across WCW World Championship Wrestling with a rather massive undefeated streak for over a year until Kevin Nash put an end to it. Now, at that same time, uh, WWF, at, which was it, it was known at the time, uh, was uh, kind of making fun of Bill Goldberg by using Dwayne Gill as a, well, fake Bill Goldberg, and he was going on a rather massive losing streak throughout his tenure in uh, WWF as Gilberg. It's just too bad that... Uh, they never really had a match together. I mean, that would have been a nice little squash match for 
Bill Goldberg to put away Gilberg, but it never really happened. But the two have met on several occasions, and they really don't hold any animosity toward each other. I mean, it's just business. But of course, if the match had actually happened, we all know it would be a 10-second squash match with Bill Goldberg spearing uh, Dwayne Gill one time, and it'd be over. So, yeah, that's how I would see the outcome of a Fraud or Troll versus... Uh, First Amendment Protection Agency because Troll has the experience in debates and will definitely be asking the hard questions of First Amendment Protection Agency. And, uh, well, if he hangs in there, it'll be a squash match, that's for sure. Because if you are basing the whole growth of your channel on a lie, like, uh, well, what First Amendment Protection Agency has done with that uh, resigning police officer, well, yeah. You're not going to make it very far once people figure out how much of a, well, fraud you are. And, well, that's my opinion. I hope you guys uh, got something out of it. And uh, so, therefore, I will definitely be watching this on the 7th. Uh, so, I hope to see you guys there. Until then, I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? <laughs>